I'm a Jewish person. My perspective is that of a Jewish person. So I think that's definitely... Uh, wow, I'm looking. You want to see something weird? Look at the glass. Don't move, Bianca. Look at the glass. Her head looks, it looks like she's bald and really bizarre. She lo- <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not the best to photograph through the glass. It's a story of a Palestinian girl, somebody that's growing up in a, um, in a dire uh, situation. And so I'm telling her diary. My intention was to speak through um, and be true to her story. Well, there's, there's no uh, muse in this particular movie. This is, this is a story about a family uh, and, and about people that are living in a situation of prolonged conflict that they didn't create. And I'm saying that the Palestinians didn't create it. I'm just saying that Israelis and Palestinians are both of the generation that is Rula's generation. They are inheriting this problem that their grandparents have left them or their parents have left them. So this has to do with empathizing with people, understanding people that are different than you, and uh, me showing the other side is just saying, hey, there is another side that you have to consider, and that's how you make peace. If you don't, and there's only one hand clapping, we'll never resolve this. The power of change, I actually believe that uh, that it's possible. I mean, as movies become your memory, they're as valuable as your real-life experiences. So there's no hierarchy between those things. I think that some could say that knowledge is freedom. It's also a burden. But uh, I I love the medium. I like to watch movies. I was a movie fan before I was ever a movie maker. Movies have a different temporality than paintings. You get something in a painting that you get all at once, unendingly, and in a film you have to see it in, in time uh, unraveling itself to you. And uh, that's interesting to use a different part of your brain. The beginning, the middle, and the end really don't exist in my movies. They just start and they stop. I sort of dread the process in a way, uh, dread the beginnings of finding locations, dealing with people, having meetings, uh, talking on the telephone. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I don't like about uh, making movies. Uh, what I do like is working with actors. What I do like is uh, setting up a situation that I don't know, uh, and, I, and I don't know how it's going to turn out. So there's something spontaneous that occurs in that. And by working with other people uh, that can do something that you can't do, that I like. I mean, when you say, I directed The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, it's really I directed it with Matthew Almerich, with uh, Emmanuel Seigne, with Anne Cosin. I mean, these people work with me to do that, and to take all the credit for that is not correct. You know, I try not to look at anything when I'm doing a work of art, and whatever you, uh, your experience is sort of seeps into whatever you're doing, and then comes out. And I remember when... They, I think they asked Arshal Gorky you know, about uh, Picasso, and he said, oh, like, keep trying to paint Picassos, but they keep ending up like Arshal Gorky's. So it's hard to get away from yourself, but I think I try to get outside of myself um, in order, and I guess in that you find out who you are. I probably, I think I stopped growing when I was about six years old, so I'm still somebody that's pretty much in the sandbox, and I like being in that, uh, in that, in that state. And so uh, I don't feel like making a movie now for a couple of years. I don't want, you know, I was asked to make different things that were pretty interesting, but it's not a job to me. I made this film because I felt a responsibility um, to because uh, I think that if we don't do something about what's going on over there, it's just there's a domino effect and the ripples are far-reaching and uh, it's not something that's just over there. It's happening here and uh, we need to talk about this. We need to heal each other. We need to forgive each other. And I thought that there was a lot of forgiveness in Rula's book, not towards Israelis, but also towards her mother. You know, if we're privileged or more privileged than other people, I think we need to intervene and do something that could be... Uh, 
and maybe it's even pretentious to think that we are more privileged than other people, but uh, I'm living under the illusion that I'm a free person, more free than most, so I thought I could make this movie.